Hello guys, welcome to the allotment. We are going to do a garden tour today. I'm going to show you guys around, show you what's growing, what we are planting, what we have planted, and give you some recommendations too. First up is this old apple tree. I didn't plant this. It's a really old tree. We got it was here when we got this plot and it's still producing really well. Lots of apples on it. I should find time to thin them out. Well, moving on. This is a strawberry bed. We had some spinach, but I think they've all gone to seed, but we invested lots of them. See, they're going seed. But here, oh, that's a nice one. My daughter normally does the investing of the strawberries. She said that's her job, so <laughs> that's how it is. We have some more strawberry over here. We have some ripe ones in there, so my daughter is coming to pick them up later. And we have a flax plant. We're growing them for flax seed. I know this plant is also used for making linen, but we're not making any linen this year. It's just for the seeds. Next to it, we have a chamomile plant. I love some chamomile tea. I've picked lots of flowers from these for tea and it's still coming strong. Looks like we're gonna get lots more flowers from it. It's a really tall plant. I think it's the smallest seed I've ever planted. I didn't think it would germinate, but it did. Let's go over to the other bed. The bathtub over here, pumpkin plant. It's just trailing out. The idea is to put the pumpkin, because I have pumpkin and some butternut squash in here. The idea is to let them trail over this area because uh, empty area there. I have my rhubarb at the other end and two canna plants, but it seems the slugs uh, have been busy on them, but they still look good. I think they'll survive. I have some roses over there. Yeah, I have some red roses and some other roses over here. It's very fragrant, very nice aroma to it. Very nice smell. My wife loves it. We have some more squash plants there. Some more squash. And this right here, I think is a uh, sunflower. I didn't plant this. I think it's a volunteer plant. Behind it, we have another apple tree with lots of fruit on it. It's really nice. It's a, next to it is a cherry tree. Tons of flowers this year, but little fruits, but I don't know what happened. All of them just sort of fell off. I'll need to look deeper into that. Next to it, we have another apple tree. I didn't plant these, so I don't really know the variety, but it's a really nice tasting apple. Not the biggest, but really nice. I think we have some apples in it, but we can't see from this from here. Let's go around, take a look, see. Oh, over here is my kiwi plant. I've not had any kiwi from it yet is a two-year-old plant hopefully we'll get some kiwi soon let me show you guys the blueberries there you go lots of fruit in them see the other one lots of fruit let's go over here you can see better from this angle lots of fruits in them i think this is gonna be my best year for blueberries Lots of blueberries. And this is my little black currant plant. I had the big bushes at the other side. They got too much, so I cut them down to make more space. I just took a little cutting that has buds in it, put it in a little pot. I didn't think anything would come of it, but I'm having black currant. Yay! <laughs> And this is our lavender plant, some more blueberries. And I have four new blueberries. I was at a shop and they had sales. It was like a pound each. I was like, mm, might as well buy them. It's a pound. What's the worst that can happen? And I'm getting little blueberries from them just now, but I'm not looking for them to do anything this year. And over here, I have one of my patio yummy raspberry this uh is a bush type raspberry i hope i get some fruits from them this year 
And down there is my comfrey plant. I've cut it down, put it in water. I'm gonna use it for comfrey tea to water my plant. And back there I have a fern. I didn't plant that, but I love it when it comes up every year. It's a really nice plant. Down there I have a grass. It's the ponytail kind of grass, but it's still very young. I hope we get some tails this year, but if not, it's always next year. Over here we have a Royal Gala tree, but it's still very young, so it's not going to do anything this year. Over there we have a Inside this netting, we have a Tontin Dean kale, which is my favorite kale, and it's a tree kale. Very big leaves. You might not be able to see it very well from because of this netting, but I have other ones at the other side of the garden. When I get there, I'll take off the netting and show you. And those flowers, uh, the plant I salvaged, I don't know the name of it, but I love the look of it. And the bees love it too. Over here, we have a uh, leeks this is the leek i planted last year is going to seed i'm thinking of saving some of the seeds but i'm not sure if you can save seed from one leek plant if you know could you let me know leave a comment let me know please and down here we have some of our letters this is the stem letters some people call it kelters and it's gone to seed i plan to save some of the seed to plant next year because we really like it I have some more lettuce growing underneath them. Red lettuce over there, another one. And that cluster over there is a beetroot plant, golden beetroot. And the beetroots are still tiny, but they'll get bigger. And over here we have some onions. They're still young, but they're looking good. And down on the other side, we have some shallots. They are falling over. Oh, I hope they do well. Let's keep going. Down here we have a black currant plant. Over here we have a lavender plant. And another raspberry plant. Another raspberry plant here. And these are our second uh, royal galler. Let's go around. Over here we have some young sunflowers, but I think I'm gonna put them in the ground soon. I don't think they've outgrown those container already anyway. Now I'm thinking it's such a bad idea to put these broad beans plant here because it's blocking a lot of light from the onions. Maybe that's why they're not looking so good. But seed label said dwarf broad beans, but these are anything but dwarf. But we'll see. Hopefully this the the, the beans are getting big, so hopefully I can they're not big enough yet. When they get big enough, I'll cut them down. Give the onions and shallots some more light. Hopefully that will help them. And in here, over here, we have a Austerian tree cabbage. This is the first time I'm growing it. I'm really excited to see how it comes. And back here, we have a palm kale. And we have a, that's the first time. This is the first time I'm growing the palm kale too. And we have the red Russian kale. First time too. Tree spinach, first time I'm growing it too. And we have some year round cauliflower and lots of kale over there. At the other end, we have lots of peas, but they're not big enough to invest yet. But still keeping an eye on them, I think they need a few more weeks. This is a dwarf variety of peas, it's called the uh, Provincial peas. I think you can still plant peas at this time. I'll leave you a link if you want to grow this variety. It's called Provincial pea, uh, pea. Excuse me. It doesn't get that tall. It's really nice, really sweet. Moving on. <clears throat> Over here, I have uh, my pony plant. And here we have a lamb's ear, I think it's called. I'm, I don't know the other name. If you know, please let me know. It feels like velvet. I got some of the plant from one of my mates, planted it here. It's doing really well. Let's move on. Let's go to the other beds. We're going to go all around, so don't worry. Here we have a pear plant that's producing pear for the very first time. Really excited. My daughter loved pear fruit, so I hope 
a lot of them stay on instead of falling down. We have another pear tree here. It produced a few pears last year, but nothing this year. I have no idea what's going on with it. And there's another pear tree there, but it's still young. I planted it this year. In here, we have a plum trees, but they've not done anything. This is their third year. If they don't do something soon, I'll have to replace them because uh, there's no space for plants that are not producing. And over here, we have a tonless blackberry, little tiny blackberries in them. This is the first year it's produced, and I think this is the second, this is a two year old plant. So it's looking good, happy with it. And back there, I don't know if you can see it, I have a little fennel, yeah, little fennel plant. I thought it was going to die. I thought I planted it in a location that's too shaded, but it is growing slowly but surely. And I have some stinging nettles there. I, I left them there to grow because the, they attract some beneficial insects. And you can also make tea out of them. I'll show you the, the I, I, I have some nettles in my shed that I'm drying off for tea. I'll show you when we get there. And this flower, I got it from my neighbor. I don't know what it's called. It produces uh, yellow flowers. They're beautiful. They're really beautiful. But they're not flowering yet. I hope they flower this year. And next to it, we have a kiwi plant. I thought it was dead. It was hit by a frost, but it bounced back. Now it's coming again. I don't know when we're going to get a kiwi from it but I hope it's sometime soon and like I told you I was going to show you my kale plants my Taunton Dean kale plant I'm going to show you the one inside this tower if you may call it that see lots of leaves in them you can't even, that's the st that's the main stock of the plant but a lot of size shoe lots of leaves if you want a plant give me a shout and we can arrange that it's very easy to propagate and the leaves these leaves may seem big but they get much much bigger like they get about let's see that's the palm of my hand see and these leaves are still small they get like four times the size and they taste much better than regular kale this is definitely my favorite type of kale and i have some lettuce underneath it they're not doing so well <laughs> i need to give them a some warm tea or something just to boost them up uh, moving along over here in this bed is a new bed it used to be a compost bin but i guess they turned it into a dustbin and was lots of rubbish in it so i decided to plant potatoes in it maybe next year i'll use it as a brassica bed because my main potato patch is over at the other side of the allotment i'll show you when we get there this is my other apple tree it's a dwarf apple tree you see it has some apples in it and uh it's very productive but it's not my favorite uh because the apples it's not uh oh it's called uh malus domestica it's very productive but i don't i don't it's not my favorite apple because the apples are not crunchy. I like crunchy apples. Let's move along. I have a little bed down here. <coughs> so, excuse me. We have some poppies here. I planted those this year, so I don't know if they're going to flower this year. We have one of my favorite plants. A globe artichoke. Beautiful leaves, beautiful flower. But we don't have any globes yet i hope we get some this year and we have some raspberries here i used to have my raspberry bed here i think the roots are still here that's where these came from and hopefully we'll get some strawberries from i mean raspberries from them excuse me oh we're having our first uh poppy our first poppy head we're gonna get some flowers this year surprisingly i wasn't expecting to get any this year because they're such young plants and back there we have the oregano plant and this is going to seed uh, i've forgotten the name of this plant now mm. to come back to me we have some comfrey down here i didn't plant those there but i'll just leave it there over there i'll just leave it there 
let it grow back here we have our main flower bed lots of different types of flowers we have the yarrow plant we have a grass in the middle i hope it gets bigger probably not a good idea to put it there but we'll see what happens we have the oxy daisy we have the daisies we have the foxgloves we have many different kinds of flowers lots of bees come here every day see there's just one there i love the bees it's really nice when you come here and you hear the bees buzzing the bed singing it is nice i have another tontin to kill here i really love the plant and back here i have some raspberry that i didn't plant they're growing just in between my fence and the neighbor's fence so some of them come here really nice tasting raspberry i never watered them or do anything to them but they keep coming every year really nice tasting and above them we have a bramble we're gonna get some blackberries from them this year if you're interested let me know and we'll see about making a video about making blackberry liqueur and down here we have compost beans i think they're already full lots of weed and whatnot but they will break down and we can put some more in it back here we have some more flowers i've forgotten what this one is called it was a gift from one of my neighbors if you know leave a comment down below and here's my little bamboo plant what is it called again let's see uh uh-oh <laughs> busted ah uh, yeah i like a bargain i got it for 50 pence it's called the uh, Nadina Domestica. Still a young plant, you get much bigger. Oh, I keep leaving my tools everywhere. Pick that up. And over here we have uh, some strawberries, more strawberries. And down here we have uh, strawberry raspberries, like a cross between a strawberry and a raspberry. It tastes amazing. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. And up here we have my giant lily plant. It's almost as tall as me. It's a, it's, a, it's a big, big plant. I love it. And down here we have our guardiolas. They're just coming up just now. They're still very young. Moving along, we're going to drizzle a little bit. Over here we have our brassica bed. Open the net so you can see. We have some broccoli, but sadly, it seems like they're bolting. Very sad. I don't know why. But I'll look into it. We have some kale over there. Some Swiss chard going to seed. Some more kale. Some pepper sprouting broccoli. This is a Romanesco cauliflower, but it's not looking good. It's not supposed to look like this, but I guess you win some and you lose some. That's what they say. We have some red cabbage. We have different types of brassicas here. I think next year I need to restrain myself from planting them so close. Plants like as much space as you can give them. <clears throat> Over here is a beautiful pars parsnip plant that I, I forgot to harvest last year, but it's really beautiful. It's going to seed. I plan on saving some of the seed but i'm not sure if you can save seed from one plant could you let me know if you know i left it here because i tried beneficial insects so there's a win-win it looks good beneficial insects they eat the bad bugs so everybody's happy over here is supposed to be my carrot bed but lots of them did not germinate this year so i'd have to do something about that i planted more carrots hopefully those will come up better and around them, I put my herbs. So the herbs, we have parsley, lemon balm, mint. We have thyme, rosemary, Greek oregano. Another, that's Moroccan, Moroccan mint. Chives, another thyme. Greek oregano, thyme, uh, mint. And there's a silver thyme. And we have an alpine strawberry in the middle. But it's getting too big. I think I'm going to pull it out. 
after I finish fruiting and put it in the pot, we have some beetroot down there. Still very young. <laughs> Let's go over this way. And uh, this is a curry plant. Well, I'm not sure if you can eat it. I wouldn't eat it. I would look into that anyway. But I don't think you can eat it. And this is a Mongolia plant. <clears throat> but it's not looking so good. It has flowered, so... It's not looking very good. I think I need to give it some fertilizer. See if that will help. Oh, snap. I just saw something interesting here. This looks like a carrot plant growing in ericaceous soil. That's a surprise. Over here we have a honeysuckle. Well, I think I need to extend the support so it grows a bit taller. And beneath it we have uh, radishes and some dwarf balotti beans. I don't know what this plant is called, but I really like it. I got a cotton one time when I went out and planted it, and it is growing. These are the leftover of some of my spring bulbs. Oh, that's going to seed. That's no good. Uh, I need to get that out. Those are my spring bulbs. Those were irises. So this is like gone now, but it will come back next year. Next to it, we have a lily plant. And behind it, we have a chad that's gone to seed. <laughs> I should really get rid of it, but it looks so beautiful. That's why I left it. Down here, we have a dahlia plant. Still young. It gives us lots of beautiful flowers, hopefully. And this plant over here, I'm not sure, I don't remember what it's called. I salvaged it. I wanted to keep the pot, but the plant started growing. I just decided to leave it and beautiful flowers, beautiful foliage. Win-win. Over here we have uh, the elephant ear plant, but it's not the regular elephant ear. I think some people call it Colocosia, the normal one. But this one, is. I grow it because I like the foliage. It also reminds me of my childhood. It's called the uh, coco yam, where I come from. So, when it's done, when it's really grown, I'm gonna turn the soil over and invest the tubers underneath it. I think I'll make a video of that. It's called coco yam. If you're from Africa, you know what that is. You might know what that is. Excuse me. And yeah, we have a plant. It was a gift. It's called the uh, house leeks. It's a succulent. It looks good. And over here are some little animals. Somebody gave me gave it to me and I put it here. I thought if you make my daughter smile only once, it'd be worth it. And she loves them. She called the tiger Shere Khan. She means Shere Khan from, uh, what do they call that book again? Jungle Book. Yeah. So and behind it, we have uh, Iris. It's not bearded let Iris, but it is, uh, I think, summer iris or something. Uh, let's see the label, see what's called. Uh, uh, it's called, uh, excuse me, Iris Siberica. See ya later. <laughs> nice name. <laughs> and over here, I have a flower. I, I don't remember what it's called. I should find that out. Down here, we have a dwarf belotti beans. I planted it, planted them in the bucket. It's coming up, flowers. Hopefully, we get some beans soon. In this bucket over here, I planted some more carrots. Hopefully, it does better. I gave it a little mulch to keep the moisture. Hopefully, that would increase the rate of germination. Let's go up. Here, we have a parsley. This is not your regular parsley. This is a parsley. Use the leaves as regular parsley, but it also brings a root like a carrot. I saw it online. I said I have to try it. It's interesting. And then the and also next to it we have some dwarf balotti beans and two rosemary plants. One here, one there. 
somebody gave me a cotton and I just put the sticks in here and it started growing after a long while I must say over here we have a plant it looks like a weed but it's not it's called a salsify some people call it uh, oyster plants I've never had it so I decided to grow it so I can see what it tastes like over here I have some more carrots better germination rate hopefully we get nice roots from them and here's one of my favorite plants it looks like something from an alien movie it's called walking onions they call it the walking onions because uh, when it's grown like this one you could the weight of the bulb then the stalk falls over when it touches the ground it could grow again so that's why it's called that this is a this is a two-year-old plant this is the first time it's giving us any onions i really really love this plant it's a beautiful plant and down here we have a, a little patch of uh, coriander we use it for curries and whatnot really love coriander what else do we have here yeah, we have some rosemary cuttings that i just put on well i think they're beginning to root <laughs> yeah so i'll plant them all over the place because my wife loves her rosemary here we have a raspberry plant i think is the is the uh yellow type but i mistakenly broke it so sorry but another shoot is coming out hopefully we'll get some raspberry from it back here is our main raspberry patch we have autumn raspberries over there later in the year they give us lots of raspberries and above it we have uh, brambles more brambles we're gonna have lots of blackberries this year and i'm gonna make a liqueur out of it behind it we have a plum tree i planted it this year not expecting it to fruit this it's not gonna fruit this year hopefully in a year or two and over here we have another plant i'm growing for the first time this is the jerusalem artichoke some people call it the fatty choke because they say when you eat it it makes you fart that's not such a bad thing if you ask me and i also read that it has some properties that uh it helps feed the bacteria in your stomach that's not a bad thing it's a really nice plant it's nice when you roast it i'll make a video i'll try to make a video when i harvest them show you guys how it comes and over here we have an apple mint i love peppermint tea that's my favorite peppermint tea or any other mint but peppermint is my favorite but i also like apple mint next year i plan on growing strawberry mint uh, pineapple mint chocolate mint and some other ones over here is a little experiment i'm doing planting potatoes in wood chips may not seem like a good idea but i like trying new things i put some soil just three quarter of the bucket when the when the uh, the potato grew up i buried it again wood chips two times so they're above it now so i'm curious i'm excited i can't wait to invest them when the foliage die back and see if i can get some potatoes from the wood chips and over here it's not growing yet it's a monkey nuts i planted it yesterday but i have another one over there i'll show you when we get there and this right here is my main potato patch there's 16 potato bags in here but you can't see them because the foliage is everywhere they're beginning to flower now so it shouldn't be much longer before we start rooting them out and over here we have our spring bulb i did the lasagna method and it turned out really great i'm just letting the foliage die back to feed the bulbs for next year and they bring more new more flowers more beautiful flowers and back there i have a pear tree with a bird feeder on it it's a young tree hopefully it will start producing from next year and over here we have a gooseberry plant we had lots of gooseberry on it earlier in the year but 
I think the birds got most of it. I'm going to think about netting them out, netting them over next year because the blue the gooseberries are really tasty. Here is my dead Christmas tree. <laughs> I thought I was going to survive, but it didn't. So I caught some of the some of the branches off and used it to support my pea plants over there. So I'll show you when we get there. Over here, my onions, most of them are ready to pick now, to pull out. I should be doing that in the next couple of days. I'll show you one over there. Yeah, that's a good size onions, but I'm not satisfied about the size. It should be bigger. I plan on testing the soil, see what's going on. Maybe put some lye and some more for, uh, manure on it. But we'll see. And next to it, we have our main garlic patch. We had all the garlic in that bed, but we invested it. I got about 100 garlic from there. But this is the main one. I invested some garlic the other day. We're going to invest these ones uh, in the next couple of days. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pull up one, see what it's looking like. How about this one here? Okay. That's a small one. Let's try another one. Oh, small. We need to do something about this bed. Mm, it's not too bad. I'll pull them all out later. Next to it, we have our broad beans. They're really getting big now. So should be investing those in the next couple of weeks. Uh, they look good. And next to it, we have a, a row of celery, but some of them are going to seed. That's okay. We just save the seeds. We also have some more onions around them. Lots of weed. It's really hard to see anything, but this bed's gonna get cleared soon. And oh, and here we have some more broad beans. The beans are coming up. They should be ready in the next few weeks. Let's come around. We have uh, some more flowers here. I'm not sure what this flower is called. It was a gift from one of my neighbors. I don't remember. If you know, please let me know. And this is uh, some dahlias I grew from seed. Really windy. Like I was saying, some dahlias I grew from seed. I didn't think they were gonna flower, but they, I've gotten a lot of flowers from them. I have some more dahlias. They are not, they're not big enough to flower yet, but they will. And another chamomile plant. I love my chamomile got lots of flour from them and drying them up let's keep going let me show you something interesting I have some beetroots over here just at the side of this bed notice something different these ones are really small those ones are huge but I planted them the exact same day I don't know what's going on well, we'll find out. Let's keep moving. Over here we have uh, some strawberries. I'm just covering them up because of the birds. I think we have some ripe ones here. Let's see. Yes, we do. We have some ripe ones here. My daughter will be in. Not so long from now to pick them. We have some more dahlias. I put them in the bed because uh, I didn't have anywhere else to put them. And here is a uh, Greek basil. Mm, I really should thin them out. Should do that in the next couple of days. Here we have our tomato plant, but the color is changing. I think it's a nitrogen deficiency. But I'll give it a feed. Maybe a comfrey tea. I have a, I have a comfrey tea out. It's in the barrel over there. Let me show you. 
Yeah. Over there. That looks terrible, right? <laughs> and it smells even worse. It was really good for your plants. It needs a, one more week and I can use them for the plant. I can use it for the plant. Here we have our beans. We have some dwarf beans over here. It's called, this one is called the purple TP. It'll start flowering very soon and we'll get some beans. We have squashes here. There's a button on squash. There's another one. And behind it over there, we have a spaghetti squash. Not grown it before. Look forward to it. We have some bellotti beans here. We have runner beans. And this one here is the one I'm most excited about. It's called the Greek Gigantis beans. A neighbor of mine gave me two plants. So I grew them here. I plan to save the seed for next year. And onwards, some more beans. And here we have our, our peas. Oh, so windy today. These are the Ottoman peas. They are really tall. They just started flowering. So hopefully we get lots of peas from them. Here's a scarlet kale from last year. I let it go to seed because uh, the bees love the flowers. So that's why I left it. Hope I might save some seed from them, but I don't know yet. Moving on, there's a few plants I planted today. We have the quinoa and the corn in between. Over there, we have a squash plant. <coughs> Excuse me. Back there, we have a courgette uh, the yellow type so i put a stick next to it i plan on growing it vertically because i've seen a lot of videos of people growing it vertically so i'm going to try it so we have some more courgette i think i'm growing six courgette plants this year my wife asked me to grow many i don't think anybody can eat that much courgette so i told her if you have excess We'll give it to our neighbors and what well, I think is going to be a struggle to find people to take that more courgette. And I have another courgette growing in the bucket. I'm just trying it out, see how it goes. It's looking good so far. Down here we have our leeks. I grew these from seed. When they're big enough, I'll thin them out and uh, plant them over. Oh. These are some plants I grew this year. This is an artichoke plant. I have two of them, but... Uh, I don't think I'm going to plant them. I'm not going to plant them because they take a lot of space. If you live in a Glasgow area and you want to add to your plant, reach out and we'll see how we can get it to you. Over here is the comfrey plant. Somebody asked me for one, so I potted it on. Uh, I think it's coming on. When is a good size, I'll give it to the person. Yeah. Back here we have a tiger, uh, yeah, tiger nuts. It looks like a grass, but when it's fully grown, you pull out the grass. When the grass dies back, you pull it out, and you find some nuts underneath, nuts underneath it, and they're very, very tasty. There's an extra tomato plant. I might put that on, but it's broken. But well. I might still put that on. Beautiful flowers from the courgette. Behind it, we have our cherry tree. Let me see if I can get there, show you. Oh, oh yeah. We have a cherry tree. It tastes so good, I barely wait for them to ripen before eating them. So that's one of the fruit. It's really nice tasting cherry. Oh, I should have, I should empty that. There's a warm tea from a warm, there's warm, warm tea from our warm bank. Let's see how the worms are doing. Oh, can't see any of them. Um, that looks like a papaya plant growing in there. <laughs> That's interesting. Let's see if we can find some of the worms. Let's just see. Let's move this. 
Let's just open it a bit, see if you can see some of the worms. Oh, there it is. This is a tiny worm. That's a good sign. They're reproducing. I should really find time to invest this one, Casting. That's another one. Beautiful stuff. One of the best fertilizers ever. Uh, better cover this. They don't like the light. Moving along. Oh, I have a. This is a melon plant. I should plant it somewhere soon. These are some of my seedlings. This is bold hardy beetroot, which you can still grow. I'll leave a link to plants you can still grow in June, in July, in case you want to plant some of these. There's still a lot of plants you can grow. I'll leave a list below. So you can go ahead, look, see. If you see anything you like, you can still grow it. Give it a try. I'll show you. Uh, this is my new greenhouse. A DIY greenhouse that I'm building. Uh, it's more work than I thought it's gonna be, but when it's done, it's gonna be really nice because it's gonna give a lot of space. So my tool shed I'm using is as a temporary greenhouse for my seedlings. See, we have some seedlings down here, some spaghetti squash, some different types of plants over here, some peppers which are beginning to flower but i have my main pepper most of my peppers i put in the community greenhouse and we have some garlic that i harvested i think a few weeks ago yeah just drying them out here yeah and this is what i told you earlier is my nettle i'm drying them when they're dry enough i'm gonna use them for tea more garlic this is supposed to be a tool shed boys a mini greenhouse for the at the moment till I complete the main greenhouse. Let's keep moving. Over here we have some onion plants and some corn. The corn over here looking bigger. I hope we get some corn from it this year. Fingers crossed. And we have some more broad beans. These are supposed to be dwarf broad beans, but they're not. In this bed here we have some squash. There's a button of squash, a variety called butterbush, but it's not looking so happy. I think I'm gonna give it a feed of warm tea. Hopefully that'll boost it up. I have three of them because they don't grow so big. They're ideal for containers. So I'll give them a feed, hopefully that will help them. I have some beetroot growing here. And this is one of my favorite plants, peppermint. It took me a long time to get a peppermint plant. I finally got one from one of my neighbors. I know peppermint spread. So I really don't mind if it spreads all over this tub. I love peppermint. And that's like the only tea I drink mainly. And we have some troughs over here with some strawberries. But these strawberries in this trough are too old now, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Oh, there's one ripe one in there. I'm gonna get rid of the plants. They're too old now. Another strawberry trough. Oh, these are bigger ones here. Bigger strawberry plants. My daughter will be in to pick that up later. I think that's all for today. Thank you guys for joining me. Whatever you're doing today, I hope it goes well. God bless you.